Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today we're tackling a question that many iOS developers encounter. Our viewer wants to know about removing a folder from the NS document directory. They've created a folder and added some files, but now they're curious if the file manager's remove item function can delete both the folder and its contents. Let's dive into this topic and clarify how to manage your file system effectively. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To delete a folder and its contents in the NS document directory, we can use the file manager's remove item function. Let's first confirm that this function can indeed remove both files and folders. Here's how you can implement this in your code. First, ensure you have the path to the folder you want to delete. Then, use the remove item function to delete it. Make sure to handle any potential errors that may arise during this operation. For example, the folder might not exist, or there could be permission issues. In summary, the remove item function from File Manager is capable of removing both files and folders. Just ensure you have the correct path and handle errors appropriately. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To remove a folder in the NS document directory using Swift 5, first check if the file exists at the specified path. If it does, you can delete it. Make sure to handle any potential errors during this process. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To remove a folder in the NS document directory, you can use the NS file manager method called remove item at path. This method takes a string path that indicates the directory you want to remove. For more details, you can check the official Apple documentation on this method. And that's it guys. I hope the video helped find the resolution that you're looking for and you got the answer and worked your way through. If it did, please hit subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.